um, Chrissy and welcome back. I'm Disabled Director. I'm really passionate about making sure disability representation in TV, film, and media is accurate and authentic. And this past few years, I've really noticed a huge increase in disability representation, especially deaf characters and representation. Um, which has been really exciting, especially because growing up I definitely didn't have that representation to look up to. Historically, Hollywood tends to support the disability narrative, um, cast able people and then either make us the helpless victim or the inspiration. I just am really excited and grateful to live at a time where I'm able to have opportunity to watch so many amazing disabled actors and creatives actually on the book screen. Um, it's just really special and I can't explain it. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into some of the big films and representation that's come out recently. I absolutely love watching Millicent Simmons in this movie. She does an amazing job and just be able to watch a cochlear implant user be able to adapt, play for fun tricks, just like just be just so profound in a way. I'm 100% obsessed with the beautiful Merce Lauren. But a lot she plays as Makara. I personally have been looking forward to for months, like if not years. And like, you know, the first deaf superhero, like not just to deaf people, but to like everyone. Makari is the favorite of the movie. So she deserved to be on the screen more. Um phenomenal drama like romance movie um it's really just pleasant and positive to watch it has some really powerful moments in it Troy Kosser is up for a nominee for the Oscar which is super exciting Play the father and he is absolutely 100% the, the delight of the movie and I hope he gets it I, I can't hear the singer so I can't really comment on that <laughs> This stars the amazing deaf blind actor Robert Torrego. He does a phenomenal job. A short 12 minute produced by Marley. It really is simply the story of a deaf blind man just at a bus stop. This movie is all over the place. It's sweet because this young girl feels a relationship with Carl who like just were signing and Julio language is cool. <laughs> Let's move on to two B. It has a full deaf episode. Also Alice Stroko is a beautiful supporting actress and I did not expect to see disability in this series so that always makes it better. <laughs> when I tell you I am obsessed! Oh that was probably loud. I said. Of course we have, you know, like Clint, Lana and I da, who is staff stuff. Maya is an indigenous staff amputee superhero and she's amazing. In the show, she calls out Hawkeye for writing on technology too much, and it's just generally a badass. Season 9, we have Lauren Ridloff and Angel. It is just refreshing to be able to see deaf survivors in anything. <laughs> This is a Sundance 
Sue created by Shoshana and Josh Feldman. Pleasant, fun, drama, comedy about two deaf best friends. I grew up in Maryland. I am very familiar with the divisive like rhetoric and happening in the show. That's why I'm halfway to them. <laughs> if you're deaf or hard of hearing, you deserve accessibility. Regardless if you feel like you're disabled or not, feel busy, lucky, feel sign fluent or not, it doesn't matter. Like, you're a valid human being and you deserve to be included and have access. The device of no scares people. a really powerful, beautiful story about the football team and MFC. The story very much dives into Teddy's death. I only met Teddy a few times, but it's beautiful to see how communities come together to support each other. Now moving on to some more broader disability representation. This movie is so creepy. Kira Allen is an amazing disabled actor and it's just a really enticing performance. It's nice to see a whole movie cast a disabled person, not as the villain. Luca, they added an LBT in there. This is on Amazon and so cute. It has a fully neurodivergent cast and crew. Isaac and set education. I feel like they really approach disability in the realm of the show appropriately. Other programs cast able people for disabled roles. It demonstrates inaccurate medicine, mobility, communication accommodation and support is. I didn't realize the camera stopped recording, but anyway, the point is there are so many amazing, talented, disabled actors, and it's really exciting to see them finally be on the screen. I personally am really looking forward to the future where we don't just have disabled actors on screen, but also writing our stories and creating our films. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys.